The final day of the untamed African mountain bike race, the Absa Cape Epic. The world's best mountain bikers, together with aspiring amateurs, will finish their eight-day journey of a lifetime, completing 630 kilometers and 16,650 meters of climbing through South Africa's Western Cape. Stage 7 took them from Stellenbosch to the renowned polo fields in Val de Vie Estate. Over the 70 kilometers, the riders would have to tackle 1,800 meters of climbing, with the Land Rover technical terrain on the Yonkersub trails and the climb up Fiona's Beast, the toughest challenges, before they arrive on the Cape Epic's Champs Elysees in Val de Vie. The world's best mountain biker, Nino Scherter, and his partner Lars Forster were in the yellow leaders' jerseys for the final stage. As they left Stellenbosch with an eight-minute lead ahead of their closest rivals, Manuel Fumic and Henri Cavancini, it looked very unlikely that there would be any changes on the overall podium places. But there were many teams gunning for victory on this prestigious stage. In the women's race, the orange women's leaders' jerseys had been with Annika Langville and her new partner, Anna van der Breggen of Investex Ongo Specialized all week, and they left Stellenbosch with a 30-minute lead in the GC. Langville will write Cape Epic history by claiming her fifth win in five starts. Approaching the Yonkers of Climb, Philip Pace and Matthijs Bierkes of Team Piger Eurostil made the pace at the front of the field and the first gap started to form. At the top of the first climb, Pace, Bierkes and the cross spur team with Chink and Gutierrez were the first to come through with the Spanish buff Scott MTB team and yesterday's stage winners and their second 7C CBZ Villiers teams following. Pagel Eurostil and Cross Spur continued to make the pace at the front as they entered the never-ending story and the field got strung out even more by these exhilarating single tracks with 7C CBZ Villier, Canyon and Scott Sram chasing hard. At this stage, Team Canada Factory Racing with Fumich and Avancini were already a minute and 30 seconds down. Flying through the Land Rover technical terrain, the two leading teams, Pagel Eurostil and Cross Spur, showed their intention of wanting to win the final stage. They were chased hard by the Spanish Buff Scott team and the two 7C CBZ Villier teams. A little bit further back, the standout rider this year's Absa Cape Epic, Nino Schurter, also enjoyed the superb trails by showcasing his trademark tail whips. But it was Piger Eurostil and the Cross Spur team who made the pace. On the climb up Fiona's Beast, both teams showed their strength and mountain biking pedigree and continued with their relentless pace on the tricky descent. At the second water point, Parker Eurostil and Cross Spur had extended their lead to a minute and 45 seconds. On the home stretch through Boschendal, with three single track descents and two uphill slogs, the leaders stayed together. The finish line in Val de Vie was edging ever closer. As the two teams entered the finish shoot on Val de Vie's polo field, Philip Bass and Andreas Schink moved to the front. On the final few meters, their partners Bjorkus and Gutierrez had a thrilling sprint with Gutierrez winning in a photo finish by the narrowest of margins to celebrate the victory on stage 7 of the 2019 Absa Cape Epic with his partner Chink. South Africa's Bierkes and Bass in second place and Sebastian Finney and Martin Blooms a surprise third place on the final stage. After narrowly missing out on stage 6, Trex Ellis and Marco with Damiano Ferrara and Samueli Porto finished 11th but maintained their third place in the overall ranking. Manuel Fumic and Henri Gavancini were 12th but also kept their second place on GC. Finishing the stage in 14th, the outstanding team of this year's Absa Cape Epic, Scott Sram mountain bike racing, with the reigning Olympic cross country champion Eno Schurter and European champion Lars Forster celebrated a deserved overall victory at the Val de Vie estate. They were more than seven and a half minutes ahead of Fumic and Avancini of Canada Factory Racing and 16 minutes and 37 seconds ahead of Trex Ellis and Marcos Ferraro and Porro. The women's race was dominated from day one by Investex Ongo specialized Annika Langville and Anna van der Breggen. Despite leading by more than 30 minutes, they held nothing back on the final stage. In Yorkersuk, they made their move on Summit Finns Candice Lille and Adelaide Morath and controlled the race from the front. Around 18 kilometers on the finish, Lille and Morath caught the leaders and both teams charged towards the finish line. But on the final approach, Langfell and Van der Breggen made the decisive move and powered away to win their seventh stage of the 2019 Absa Cape Epic ahead of Lille and Morath. Celebrating her fifth Absa Cape Epic victory with her partner Van der Breggen, Annika Langfell made history and submitted her status as the most successful female Cape Epic rider ever. A deserved triumph for the Dutch Danish Investex Ongo specialized team who outclassed Lil and Morath of Summitfin in second place and Lutie and Waschowska in third.